As a boy, even when the Salvadoran army was laying waste to his hometown and guerrilla rebels were stalking the nearby woods, Jose Zelaya held fast to his dream. One day, he told his mother, I'm going to work for Mickey Mouse. The vow took Degni Menendez by surprise. At the time, her four-year-old son could neither read nor write. God fulfills dreams, she told him. You have to go to school first and push yourself, and pay attention to everything your teachers tell you. In the early 1980s, Zelaya would seek refuge from El Salvador's agonizing civil war in the oasis of his imagination. His favorite TV shows were Disney programs, and before he had started kindergarten he was drawing startlingly accurate likenesses of the world's most recognizable cartoon rodent, along with fanciful creatures modeled on the real fauna and flora that surrounded his home. Today, as the only native Salvadoran graphic artist and character designer working for Disney Television Animation, Zelaya, 45, remembers the colors of the birds, animals and plants of his homeland, the mauves and fuchsias and emerald greens that infuse his work on animated series like Lion Guard and Jake and the Neverland Pirates and such films as George of the Jungle and Lilo and Stitch. In the now almost vanished country that existed before the war, he learned the ways of rabbits and birds, snakes and goldfish and water-skipping basilisk lizards that inhabited the hills and forests around Soyaponga, then a largely rural suburb of the capital San Salvador. I have touched them, I have not only seen them in photos," Zelaya said of his mental bestiary, as he flipped through an iPad of drawings at a restaurant in North Hollywood. Those are the things from my childhood that I lived in El Salvador that have stayed with me. That's why I love drawing animals. There were other drawings from that time, and far more harrowing, of the bombers and helicopters he'd seen strafing entire neighborhoods of soldiers spraying bullets at the insurgents and the insurgents firing back. Everyone killed each other in my drawings. For a boy with a singular talent, drawing was both traumatic and cathartic, a way of taming reality while retreating from it. Drawing, he said, was always a way for me to grasp another world that I controlled. At Disney, his bosses and colleagues agree that Zelaya is a rarity in their world, a self-taught genius. He's one of the most naturally talented character designers I ever met, naturally gifted," said Phil Weinstein, a Disney producer who has worked alongside Zelaya for the past decade. He is able to capture not only that kind of metric representation of volume on the character, but also that charm and appeal that exist in all Disney characters. Creativity ran in the family. His father, a cartoonist who drew landscapes as a hobby, designed jewelry. One of Zelaya's uncles also was a talented artist. A cousin was a clothing designer.